Hello everybody, it is uh, NavyBoy5499 here, and uh, so today I'm doing a video face-to-face, -face. a little more formal, uh, so it's been a while since I've done a video with my face, I don't, I don't know why, uh, my hair has gotten longer, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, um, I don't know what to tell you, I just, uh, Kind of just, it's not even that I want my hair to be long, it's just that, like, I feel if I cut it, it will look really bad now. I've gotten so used to the fact that I've gotten longer hair. I'm not even going to get into it, but, uh, so this is the, an update video kind of in a response to, uh, all the community responses I've gotten from my fans, uh, to, you know, I, I asked in the last update video what I should do, um, because, with Persona 3, I'm not working at the pace where I'm comfortable posting the videos yet. And I don't know when that's going to be. So, um, I've been wondering what I should do. So, what I've kind of decided to do is basically do exactly what I said I was going to do in the video. And I'm going to go ahead and do other Let's Plays before Persona, Persona 3. Now this might come to a uh, as a shock to some of you. Oh my gosh! Uh, but the thing is, Persona Three is such a big project for me. I don't want to rush myself. I don't want to uh, may have to have to make seventeen videos every night just to get it done. It's stupid. Uh, I decided uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it at my own pace and. Uh, I don't want to get overloaded on the game and then not be able to uh, play it. Like, I don't want to, because like, there, there's been times where there are some episodes I've noticed late, lately where I've just been out of it. <laughs> I, you guys haven't seen the episodes yet, but in one of the episodes, it's like I can't even read. I'm in a store, and I click on this sell option, and I have this really cool item that heals my party's HP and SP all. You know, all the party gets a full heal. I have that sweet item, and I go into a store and click on the sell option, and I see the the, the the item there. I'm like, there, dude, I can buy this item for only that much? Oh my gosh. And I click on buying it, and then only after when I sell it, I realize that I sold it. I'm like, what am I thinking? I can't even read that I clicked on sell. <laughs> that, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I just get overloaded sometimes, then my brain just stops working. You know, I get like this brain freeze kind of thing where I'm just like playing the game constantly, I'm just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't stay awake one more second, I'm gonna die, um, so if you wanna, if you want to avoid that, uh, we gotta, we gotta branch this out a little more, um, so I'm doing another Let's Plays, uh, I've done a lot of thinking, actually, into what game I'm gonna Let's Play, I wanted to do a game that's not gonna require a lot of, uh, puzzle solving, or, any difficulty really so I decided to not do Silent Hill 3 that was a thing that I thought about doing Silent Hill 3 I've forgotten all about the game I would literally have to go back and either watch a playthrough of it or something to get refreshed on it because I just completely forget all about the game it's like I remember there's a submachine gun and a katana that's it <laughs> and uh, so yeah we'll have to figure that out um, but I also thought about doing uh, Mafia 2. I just got that game. But that's a game that's like, it's going to be kind of boring for you guys because the way I play open world games is I kind of try to for I try to fit into the role more. I try to role play uh, open world games. Um, and that wouldn't probably be fun for you guys because you couldn't role play watching me play. It wouldn't make sense. Um, so, what, what I decided to do, I decided to go ahead and do. Uh, singularity. Um, now let me tell you a little bit about this game. It's a, uh, I don't even know. It, it's a, a first-person shooter. It's uh, I did a review on it. So if you want to know how I feel about the game, actually, you can go back and watch that review. You might know that this is my uh, ninth game of the year. This is my uh, number nine of my top ten games of the year last year. So I do like this game a lot. Uh... So, yeah, basically. I also thought about doing Deadly Prem Premonition. Uh, that's my favorite game of the year last year. Um, 
and like I've gotten a lot of messages, messages, wow, messages from people saying, "Oh, dude, you know, you just like that game because Giant Bomb did a, you know, a uh, endurance run of it or whatever." And honestly, no, I actually bought that game the day it came out. Uh, I bought it on in February, what like about a month and a half before Giant Bomb even touched the game. Um, that's the honest truth. You can look about back at my achievements. I played the game before John Bomb even touched it. I'm a big Silent Hill fan, and uh, I saw some previews of the game saying that it kind of was like a mix between Resident Evil 4 and Silent Hill, two of my favorite games. And I played it, and guess what? It's It mixes in those elements from those two games, but I'm not going to get into why I love the game so much. I've already talked about that way too much. But, um... <laughs> whatever so yeah we're doing singularity I don't even know why I got onto that tangent there but um yeah we're doing we're doing singularity I don't know when it's gonna start I haven't recorded episode I haven't even recorded episode one yet <laughs> my, my schedule is still all messed up with school and stuff uh, it's got, it, I just started the, ne the new semester you know and I got new classes so I gotta get kind of fit in. I have to fit into that role more. I have to keep. I mean, like I'm not used to school yet. You know, it's kind of hard to explain. I guess most people know that whenever there's a sort of a new semester in high school, a lot of times a lot of your classes will switch, and you'll get different new classes. And it kind of feels like a brand new school year almost because there's new classes, and you have to have you have a new schedule. Um, so you have the figured out your roots between classes and stuff, and so I'm, I'm kind of still figuring that out, figuring, wow, figuring that out, if I can talk for some reason, it's probably this Red Bull, I'm pretty like jacked up on that or something, but, uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I had to figure that all out, so, of course I'm going to figure that out, and once I do get back into my role, I will then have, uh, I'll figure out my schedule, I'll be able to figure out some more time to do stuff, um, so some little other update things. Um, I pre-ordered a 3DS. Uh, I'm gonna get one when they come out. Uh, actually, if you go on, uh, well, I can't really. What, whatever. I'll just show it to you the best I can. One, well, if I can. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my monitor like this, and I'm gonna turn my laptop like this. There is the uh, supposed uh, shot of the PSP2. Uh, the, that is what it's supposed to look like. It's just there. It has a stylist, obviously, right there. And, uh, it supports SD cards and uh, this new kind of memory card. It's not. It's not like the original PS2 uh, PSP memory stick. It's actually a new one. It's a little longer. It's got two analog sticks, and uh, it collapses like the PSP Go which I have right here for Harrison. So the PSP Go is like like small one, which honestly, if the, if the analog stick is not better than the PSP's analog stick, I'm gonna turn back like this now. Oh, I'm on her back. So if the, if the PSP's uh, new memory stick, or not memory stick, analog stick, if it, uh, gosh, if the analog stick is in the same quality as this one, dude, that's crap. I can never imagine playing a first-person shooter with two of these kind of sticks. They're just too small and they're too loose, so it just really feels really weird. Um, PSP Go is a big failure, by the way. I don't even know why I bought one of these. <sighs> but, um, I don't know. Sony needs to start thinking with their head. Because, honestly, um, I, you know, I honestly kind of... I'm going to go into a tangent here, so... If you all, that's all you wanted to know was that I'm doing Singularity, then you might as well leave now. I'm going to go on a big tangent about how I'm not a Sony fanboy, but I'm, I kind of am. <laughs> the weirdest stuff. Um, so, I honestly love all consoles the same. Uh, I own a Wii, a 360, and a PS3. Um, I, I love all consoles. I, I don't care, really. There's, there's, all, there's games for every console. Uh, you know, the Wii's got Kirby's Epic Yarn, Super Mario Galaxy, there's great games that are only really available on the Wii, obviously. Then the PS3 has some great exclusives like Killzone, uh, Uncharted, there's lots of cool ones like Little Planet 2 just came out, an amazing game. Um, and the 360 has 
some good things. I mean, uh, the 360 is the main console that I play on because of the online. Uh, but it, in the exclusives wise, it's probably not the best thing. Like, I don't love Halo too much. Halo's alright, I like Halo, but I don't like the multiplayer all, all that much at all. Um, Fable, it's kind of got really crappy. Fable 3 is a horrible game. Uh, there's really not any exclusives. I mean, obviously Gears of War, but I never was a big Gears of War fan. Never liked the multiplayer. So, um, honestly, the 360 doesn't offer anything in exclusive-wise, for me at least, besides for Forza. Forza is the only game, but even with Forza, I think Gran Turismo is kind of better in some ways. Um, they're both kind of equal, in my opinion. I like them both a lot. Um, the thing is, the reason that I... Honestly, will recommend a really good PS3 game, and then not recommend any 360 games. Well, I do recommend 360 games, but I'm saying like the reason that I would be more inclined to say that Uncharted is better than a Halo is that everyone like seems to be picking on the PS3, and I don't know why. This is just how it's been since the beginning of the console, ever since the price was officially announced it's been like people just like hate it there's people that just despise it and there's there's also people that despise the 360 and I think the main reason that the console wars start is because people just decide that oh that console sucks and then they would bash it and bash it until the point where someone feels like they have to stand up for it it's almost like a bully picking on a kid and then eventually you gotta step in and be like dude what are you doing <laughs> I mean that's how I kinda felt and so Honestly, the, the way I kind of feel about the about Sony products is that, like, people look at the PSP2 here, and I see people on here bashing it, saying, oh, the 3DS is so much better, this thing looks like crap. And I'm like, dude, it looks fine. <laughs> like, well, <laughs> well, it looks like a, it has a touch screen. It looks kind of cool. I'd, I'd be interested. It's supposed to have 3G connectivity, which could be good or bad, depending if you have to pay for a data plan or something. But I just don't see why people have to bash on stuff, you know? So, like, when people, when I see so many people bashing the PSP2, even though I pre-ordered a 3DS and I'll probably enjoy that more, I feel like I have to defend the PSP2 and say that this is better. I don't know why, but I feel like I have to stick up for it. Because I hate people that just bash for no reason. It's like, you, the console hasn't even come out yet. This is not even an official screenshot. This is just a rumor. People are like, this is the worst thing ever. It's like, you haven't seen it, first of all. You have no idea the specs of it. It could be as it could be more powerful than the 360 for all we know. That's some of the rumors. Um, I don't know. I just honestly, I think that people shouldn't bash things. Honestly, it's like if people bash the PS3, saying like, "Oh, it has no games." <laughs> well, I mean, it has more exclusives, better exclusives like God of War, like Killzone, Uncharted, The Little Planet, like Gran Turismo, all these great titles. People act like they don't even exist and. The PS3 honestly gets most of the games, like Singularity, for instance. Wow, that came out on the PS3 too. There's there's so many uh, con. There's so many, basically any game now that's multi-platform comes out on the PS3, uh, and like a lot of the games even have extra content, like the Medal of Honor. That the new Medal of Honor it came with one of the older Medal of Honors, like remastered in HD with it, on the PS3 version only. Arkham Asylum came with free DLC on the PS3 and uh, PS3 version only. I don't see people like bash on. That's all. That's all I see. And like, so that's why I, at times I will feel like I need to stick up for it because it's like there's no reason to bash on. Just 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 because the 360 has sold more doesn't mean it's a better system. They're both they both have their own good qualities. They both have their own negative qualities. So I honestly don't like either system more or less. I just think that people need to stop and sell down a little bit. All right, now that uh, I felt, I don't know why I went on that tangent. I felt like I needed to, because uh, I've I've been accused of being a PS3 fanboy. And I'm just like, no, I'm not. Honestly, uh, ah, my nose is itchy. Uh, yeah, I don't even. Know. What time is it? <sighs> one thirty in the morning. I don't know what I'm doing on a Monday night, one thirty in the morning, making videos noises are coming out of my MacBook. <sighs> so yeah. That's basically it. I'm doing doing a quick uh a quick look. I'm doing a let's play of Singularity. A quick look of Little Planet 2 will be coming out. Eh. It's 
possible Thursday or Friday. I don't know. It's already done. It's like on my computer, but it's like I think I might actually have to upload it in 720p instead of 480p because it's like 480p messes up games when I upload them like that sometimes. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, all right. That's it. I got everything off my chest that I've needed to. Uh, this is a giant bomb shirt, by the way. Well, it's a Whiskey Media shirt. Just so, just so you know, I can turn around and, like, I don't I can't even turn around. But, you know, yeah. All right. I've said all I needed to say. Now I'm going to grab a assault rifle and uh, end this video. So, <laughs> We'll see you guys later. I'm going to go shoot some terrorists or something. I don't, I don't know. See you guys later.